Athletics returns to Lakeside Stadium, but it's an XCR 13 road race that we're here for. The Victorian 10km Road Championship has a new home, right on the doorstep of the Athletics Victoria headquarters. The women's race included recent Australian half marathon champion Nikki Chappell, 2012 Olympian Lisa Waitman, and visiting from South Australia, Tara Palm. Out front in the men's race at halfway was a big pack with Steve Kelly leading a number of his Box Hill teammates. Essendon's Mitch Brown and Geelong's Brady Thelfall were also prominent. Nikki Chappell and Lisa Waitman were close, with plenty of the men to work with. Palm was third, just ahead of Melissa Duncan. Approaching the finish, Mitch Brown had broken away and went on to win in 29 minutes 52. Steve Kelly had to settle for second in this race, while Box Hill's Anthony Aloisio was third. Nikki Chappell went on to win the women's event in 32 minutes 41, while Lisa Waitman was 28 seconds back in second. Palm was third across the line, with Melissa Duncan next, to take the bronze in the Victorian Championship. Mitch, tell us about the race. It looked like there was a big pack rolling around for a long time. Yeah, definitely. Um, through the early stages, there were uh, a lot of guys that were prepared to do the work. I know, um, obviously, Steve, um, and I, I did feel a little bit bad letting him take the wind as, as much as he did, but he, he was uh, very much attacking into, uh, into those strong headwind areas, Ant Aloisio and, and Andrew White. So a lot of guys um, pushing it up the front and everyone sort of uh, sharing the load. So, um, so it, it was good in that sense, um, broke, broke things up a little bit and uh, everyone kind of took their turn to, um, to do a bit of the work. So um, it worked out quite well in that sense. And how did you find the new course? Two laps on uh, around Albert Park and then uh, finishing on the track. Did you feel a bit faster coming onto the uh, blue track at the end? Oh, it was a, a fantastic finish and um, to have made the break by, uh, by that stage obviously and, uh, and come into the track as, as the clear leader was, uh, was a nice feeling, having the crowd up in the stands and uh, yeah, a bit like an Olympic marathon coming in to do that last 300, so that was great. To be honest, I, I was a little bit uh, iffy on the whole idea of a, a double out and back, but, um, but it was a much, much more enjoyable course than I thought and uh, I can definitely see a big future in the, uh, the 10k being permanently an Albert Park event. And what are your plans now for the rest of winter? There are a few races left in the XCR season. National Cross coming up. Uh, what's on the cards for you? Yeah, well, uh, it was a bit of a slow start to uh, this year. I'd done a lot of racing last year, probably too much racing, and, and worn myself into the ground a little bit at the time when it was really crucial. So I've, I've only just started building in towards um, a bit more of a, a, a peak, I guess, and hitting hitting the business end of the season now. So um, so National Cross in, in a few weeks will be a big focus. Um, as a result of that, I'm going to do the race at, at Larden Park rather than City to Surf this year. Uh, to be honest, I thought that would be a, a good chance to get my first ever XER win, but, um, but I've managed to do it today, which is nice. So National Cross, maybe look at a fun run after that, like City to Bay, and then uh, get back into uh, to building up for, for Zatapec at the end of the year, which is obviously the trial for, for Com Games, so that's very exciting. We're joined here by Box Hill's Nikki Chappell, Victorian 10k champion. Nikki, how was the race on the new uh, Albert Park course? Uh, yeah, I think it was a pretty fast course. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit windy out there, but it wasn't as bad as we all thought, so it was good, good fast course. And uh, who are you running with? Uh, obviously running with the men, there's always someone to sit with or sit behind. How did, how did you find that? Did you find someone to pace off? Um, yeah, well, there's always somebody to try and catch and, and run with. It was a little bit chaotic at the start, I think, but no, it was good. And uh, you've got the World Champs coming up soon in Moscow. How's the training going for that? What will you do between now and the race? Um, start to taper off a little bit now, but everything's been going well, so hopefully next time around I'm a bit quicker. Earlier in the day, a three kilometre event was held for a number of the junior age groups. 
First across the line for the men was Ben White from Collingwood, while for the women it was Western Athletics' Amy Cashin. Stay tuned for more athletics action on ASFIC TV.